say hello to the new Lexus GX. With twin-turbo V6 power, a luxurious interior, and a full suite of off-road technology, it hasn't been locked in for Australia just yet, but car expert expects it will make the journey down under. The 3.4-liter petrol V6 makes 260 kilowatts of power and 650 newton-meters of torque, mated with an 10-speed automatic transmission. Hybrid power has been confirmed for the GX, but it won't be offered at launch. We know it'll feature a 2.4-liter turbo petrol engine and an 8-speed automatic transmission. Based on that information it's likely it will be derived from the setup in the RX 500HF Sport Performance. In that car, it packs 273 kilowatts of power, thanks to the combination of a 202 kilowatts per 460 newton meters petrol engine and two electric motor generators making 64 kilowatts per 292 newton meters front and 76 kilowatts per 169 newton meters rear. Regardless of which model you opt for, the GX will have full-time four-wheel drive, a low-range transfer case, and a locking central differential. The tougher over trail will also pick up a locking rear differential. Under the skin, the GX rides on a version of the TNGAF platform that also underpins the latest Toyota Land Cruiser 300. Its 2,850mm wheelbase mirrors that of the larger LX600, although at 5,004mm long, 2,114mm wide, including mirrors, and up to 1,935mm tall, the GX is actually 96mm shorter in the body, but slightly taller. Braked towing capacity in the USA is 3,628 kilograms for the GX 550 Premium and Premium Plus, along with the Overtrail and Overtrail Plus. The GX 550 Luxury and Luxury Plus will be able to tow 3,170 kilograms and 3,075 kilograms respectively, whether those measurements translate to Australia remains to be seen. Lexus says body rigidity has been improved, and the standard suspension setup is double wishbones up front and multi-link at the rear. An adaptive variable suspension system is on offer. Learn more. Inside, the new GX has taken a huge step forward on the luxury front. The central touchscreen is a 14-inch unit as standard, backed by a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and a head-up display. Lexus says it has retained physical dials for all the key bits and pieces you need to poke and prod on the move, or off the road, are still controlled by physical controls. Seven- and six-seat configurations are on offer, with improved legroom and tow room across all three rows. The second row tumbles and folds to provide access for rearmost passengers, and the third row is offered with either manual or powered folding. Six charging points are offered to keep the kids' devices fully charged, and there are 12 cup holders. A 10-speaker sound system is standard in the USA, with a 21-speaker system optional on higher-end cars. A full suite of driver assists will be offered, as you'd expect, ranging from autonomous emergency braking and lane-keeping assist for highway driving, to off-road assists such as crawl control and a 3D surround-view monitor. What do you think of the new Lexus GX?